be me the sus imposter scrolling through twitter one day and a fellow digimon enthusiast who i follow jshan26 shared this fascinating tweet supposedly sourced from their recent blu-ray releases but based what does text in a blu-ray cover box have anything to do with what i'm interested in feed me based feed me i'm going to feed you the information on the supposed scrapped concepts or ideas for Digimon Adventure 2020. Some are understandable and some are absolutely mind-boggling to the point where we would have wished we had it. I spent a considerable amount of time going through the translations with a friend and there were some amazing discoveries. You're not going to believe this because I didn't. Enjoy the video. One of the most infamous episodes of Digimon Adventure 2020, episode 36. Why? Because Blitz Greymon kind of got shafted a little bit. A lot. It wasn't the debut we were all hoping for, for this amazing Greymon mega variation. As far as I'm concerned, the Crest Greymon episode was absolutely leagues above the Blitz Greymon debut. Whilst episode 36 was good for Izzy, it just seems strange. Why did they put Blitz Greymon here? Well, as I'll read these out to you, it kind of becomes quickly apparent that at some point in the reboot, some things were rejigged and moved around, but I'm not sure why. In fact, I'd probably like some closure from Toei as to what kind of happened in production with Avengers 2020. Because when you read this, you were probably going to agree that they did some serious reshuffling. And it's hard to understand why they did that because most people who read this will think these are some really good ideas. And I know for a fact they wouldn't want to cut corners if they didn't have to. Here is the scan from the Blu-ray edition of Digimon Avengers 2020. And this is leading up to episode 48. So as you can see here on the right hand side, we have these alternative evolution previews of Ponchomon, mentions of Entmon and Jagamon, but on the left hand side of this page comes something extremely interesting. Some of these scrapped ideas include having Gigasmon instead of Entmon battling Petaldramon. Now to be quite honest, I'm kind of glad they scrapped this idea. Hey y'all come look at this! <laughs> I feel like Entmon is a much more appropriate opposition for Petaldramon, especially given their powers and abilities, I feel like Gigasmon is, would be more on the side of Petaldramon, at least in terms of themes anyway. It just, it's a bit of a mixed match for me. So I do agree with the fact that they scrapped and or left behind the idea and concept. Because episode 44, as many of you may know this, is one of my favourite episodes of the reboot. Okay, it wasn't my top five. Can you believe that? But it was a very good episode and I spoke about episode 44 for weeks. So as it stands, it's completely fine with how it is. But there are a lot more things on this page that meets the eye. Now obviously I'm not fluent in Japanese and my friend who translated this was kind of quick past the post, but we kind of got the gist of what was going on. So if you think there's something missing and you understand a lot of this Japanese, then please feel free to include it in the comments. But moving on, we have a feature of what appears to be Metal Mamemon was supposed to battle Metal Greymon at some point in the reboot. And Metal Mamemon and Mamemon alike were supposed to be working with Vedamon leading up to Millenniumon's resurrection. To be honest, I kind of would have liked that because there wasn't ever really a recurring villain or a pestering villain that was making things harder for the Digidestined along the ways. For example, the journey to Farga, it was very long and it was very drawn out. It would have maybe been quite helpful to have Metal Mamemon being involved with Vedamon and constantly interacting with the Chosen or maybe in fact becoming a sympathetic character in the end. Who knows what they could have done with this concept? And who knows how they might have integrated Metal Mamemon in relation to these other ideas that I will mention shortly. But what do you guys think? Metal Mamemon, that would have been a good idea, do you think? I would have quite liked that, as much as it was really cool seeing all these Digimon friends. The one thing the reboot lacked was that villain that comes back repeatedly and isn't just kind of beaten in one episode. I don't know. It kind of, it would have fit in there somewhere, I feel. But you let me know. Now, for the very interesting scrapped ideas. You're gonna love these. Now, according to this scan in general, we were supposed to have had the Cross Wars Greymon. You know, the one that evolves into Zeke Greymon or Zeke Greymon, however you pronounce it. We were supposed to have this version showed down with the 2020 version of Greymon. That would have been insane, this Greymon showdown, because I think this is definitely one of the coolest designs to ever come out of Cross Wars. 
I think a lot of people would agree with me on that. And I think at times, especially across the reviews that I have done in the comments section, many of people have said that we were going to get some kind of evil Agumon showdown of some sort. Be the final villain, be a version of All Megamon, which it kind of was. Be it Millenniumon copying War Grim on stage and being Black War Grimon. Be it the Mugendramon versus War Grimon battle that we actually had. There was always that lingering presence that we were going to have this showdown between some kinds of Grimon in that evolution line. But the cross walls girl would have been a really cool idea. And again, leading into the next part of the scan, regarding Mugendramon and Blitz Greymon, this Cross Wars Greymon might have had a real place in the reboot. And had it been actually integrated as it says it would have been, we might have had a completely different kind of reboot, especially around the episode 20 mark. But what do you all think? Is the Cross Wars Greymon a good idea? Greymon versus Greymon? What do you think? Let me know. Could they not tie it in together quick enough? But leading into the next part of the scan with Blitz Greymon, with Mugendramon, maybe we'll understand a bit more why this is the case because we're trying to do something crazy with these concepts now in the final part of this left hand side of the page of the scan it suggests that they were initially going to have blitz Greymon versus mugendramon in episode 24 yeah in episode 24 he would have had blitz Greymon even earlier in the reboot a form even before war Greymon, i might add is this blitz Greymon supposed to be tai chi's is this blitz Greymon a mega evolution of the cross wars Greymon in this canon what's that mugendramon from is it tai chi's mugendramon is it the cross wars Greymon's version of mugendramon but when you think about it because they initially had blitz Greymon intended to be in episode 24 seemingly over devimon Neo Devimon and Don Devimon? That would kind of explain why it was shoehorned into episode 36. This kind of makes more sense. But now here's the real toss of what would you have preferred? Because episode 24 was a phenomenal episode. Definitely one of the best episodes in the Digimon franchise, full stop. And one of the best in the reboot, my number two. Would you have rather had some kind of altercation with Cross Wars Greymon, which could have led into evolutions to Mugendramon or an enemy Blitz Greymon instead of an ally. All of this before the War Greymon episode. So as you've probably gathered by the end of looking at these scans, the general gist is they've got some ideas that will probably be worth throwing out, ideas that will probably be worth considering, and you've also got these ideas that are absolutely phenomenal, that could have easily been integrated at some point, but maybe they were tight for time, there were logistical issues, uh, obviously with COVID and lockdown, Japan coming in and out of it all the time. It was just very hard to get people to meet quarters, especially in the animation industry. Was Don Devimon easier to do for Toei? But yeah, everyone, let me know what you think of these scrapped ideas. What do you think of them? This is up to episode 48, and the next Blu-ray will include the remaining episodes, so maybe there'll be more scrapped ideas in the future. Let me know if you want more videos like this, because I think this is really interesting. But I'll see you in the comments. Don't miss my Digimon Ghost Game reviews and pre-shows on Sunday and Tuesday, respectively. I really appreciate your time, but most importantly, take care.